just seemed to be a perfect fit. Um, the it completely aligns with what I'm trying to do here, you know, with the oceanography and marine biology program. They have a lagoon that the kids can swim in in their free time. And, you know, manatee will swim in and, you know, there's, there's a nurse shark that hangs out on the bottom and, you know, there's a underwater hotel. It, they didn't miss their electronics. They didn't get homesick because there's, there's always something that they can do and there's something that they can explore. It starts off with a, an investigation of the ocean itself and our interactions with the ocean. Um, we look at kind of some of the simplest uh, organisms, you know, your, your one-celled uh, organisms to marine plants to, you know, multicellular you know, organisms all the way up to, you know, marine mammals. And we do all of this before we go um, just so the kids are prepared. And then once they get there, um, you know, they, they blow the staff away with what they know. When you start talking about the Earth's oceans, it's, it's not just, you know, the, the, the physical water of it. It's, I mean, it's the interaction that we have with it. You know, the, the seagrasses and we hit the, you know, the mangroves and, you know, we talk about the, you know, the Everglades. And even if you're not interested in manatee, they're, you know, hey, we're gonna study you know, reef ecology, there's the geology, there's, you know, the, the hydrology, there's, um, there's the chemistry, there's, there, there's so much, you know, climate, and there's, you know, we got to experience all kinds of weather patterns, and um, it's really science at its best. It, it's funny, every year we go, the, you know, for the past three years, the instructors have always said, you know, oh my gosh, these kids, from landlocked Indiana know more about the Earth's oceans and about you know the, the ecologies of Florida than the kids that actually visit from Florida, which just blows my mind. <laughs> I think we challenge them. You know, the, the instructors there, a lot of times will, my, our kids will catch them off guard and, and they will actually say, well, we're gonna have to go and we're gonna have to look into that for you. Uh, and they'll come back, you know, in the, in the nighttime sessions on the floating classroom during one of our evening labs and say, well, you know, we found an answer for you. I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me in here. They'll ask me a question. I'm like, oh my gosh, I never considered that. You're living with people, you're rooming with people and sharing with people that you wouldn't normally do. And I, it's, it's great for bringing, bringing them together. It's neat to see them interact as kids. I mean, they, you know, during their free time, if they're not kind of free snorkeling the lagoon, they're they're playing volleyball or they're, you know, they're throwing bags in the in the courtyard and, you know, they're just doing kids stuff rather than being plugged in. They have a dive buddy and their dive buddy, you know, might not be a strong swimmer and to be in charge of someone else and to be responsible for keeping track of somebody else, it just, you know, it becomes less about them and more about each other. You know, when I first came to Sycamore, they said, hey, you're gonna be teaching oceanography. Well, why oceanography in, in Indiana? But it, it just, um, it makes sense because it, it it is a way that we can talk about alternative energy and it's a way that we can talk about, you know, affecting global change and, um, you know, what it means to be a good global citizen and. They very much think about things like that. I did a, a little mini lesson on plastics and microplastics and the problem that is microplastics. And they, they were looking at the bigger picture, the long-term you know, ramifications of making these choices. And you know, well, other countries have eliminated single-use straws and plastic wear. Well, why don't we? And they, they start asking those bigger questions like, well, we should be doing more. They're brilliant kids and they, you know, they challenge everyone and they ask those questions and they make those connections that I think a lot of kids don't make. <laughs>